So if you really want to enjoy the CapCut Pro on your PC for absolutely free and forever without having any kind of lag and without getting any kind of connection error so that you can enjoy all kind of transitions, effect, text and sticker. And this all will be done in three simple steps. And in the first step, what you have to do, right click on the Windows icon, click on settings. From the left hand side, click on time and language. Click language and region. And then here where it says country or region, on the right side, you have to click on the drop down and you need to choose it to United Kingdom. So whichever country has been selected on your side, here from the list, click on United Kingdom. And that's it. Now you can close it. Next, click on Windows Search. Search for the store application and click on Microsoft Store from the suggestion. In the store search, you have to type CapCut and hit the enter key. You will be getting the first suggestion of CapCut here. Click on it. Click on install and the CapCut will now be downloading and installing. So we have to wait here until it's all been done. And once the CapCut will be installed, you do not have to open it as we have to move with the third step. So let's wait here until it's all been done. All right, bingo, the CapCut is now being installed. And in case if you are from a location where the CapCut is not being uh, restricted and it's been allowed, like uh, you might be from United States or United Kingdom, then you can go ahead and click on open and skip the third method. But if you are from a location where you have issues using the CapCut, the next before opening it, what you will have to do in the store only, you have to search for a VPN. And the one that I would recommend you that is absolutely free is Hotspot. So you need to search for Hotspot and in the suggestion, you will be getting the Hotspot Shield VPN. Now you might be getting two different options here, Hotspot Shield VPN and Wi-Fi Proxy. You don't have to go with this one. Below where it says only Hotspot Shield VPN. Click on it. And then you have to click on install. And again, you have to wait until the installation of this VPN is being completed. And once it will be installed, you will be getting this kind of message. Your privacy comes first, so click on OK. And skip it. Or you can skip all these steps by clicking on skip on the left and top. And then you will be getting this kind of page. So you don't have to go with the paid one or the trial one. Just choose the basic one. Click decline offer. And you will be getting this kind of simple dashboard. Now here where it says virtual location, so you will have to click on the arrow icon. And whichever location you want to connect, like Singapore, United Kingdom, or any of these US location, you can connect. The one that I would recommend you to go either with the Singapore or United Kingdom, whichever is the closest physical location to your place. I will click on United Kingdom and click on connect. And very soon the VPN will be connected to this location. So now what I can do, I'm totally ready. I can minimize it. Then I need to open CapCut again that we downloaded. It will be testing the environment, so you have to wait as it check all kind of requirement. And within few seconds only, you will be getting this message. Your computer can run CapCut smoothly. So click on confirm and the CapCut dashboard will be up. And here it says create project. So if I click on it, I can exit this tutorial. I don't need it. So now here you can see that it's working absolutely perfect. So now let me import some kind of videos here so that I can show you that how exactly the editing work using all kind of transition, filter and effect. All right, so I have imported four small videos here and I will drag them to my timeline and you can see there is no lag, no delay, no problem. I will take another one. Okay, now after this, if I go to the effect, so you will find that I'm not getting any error, no connection error and I can use any kind of effect from here. Like first I will take this one and drop on this one. Then I will go to the transition and all the transitions are working absolutely perfect. This one I will add between these two clips. I can also add some kind of text here. Okay, so I'm taking a very simple one just to show you, demonstrate you. And now let me play the video in the full screen here. So you can see the transition, the effect is working absolutely perfect without any problem. And you won't find any kind of lag here. Now, if I go to the export section, now probably many of you would be able to proceed with the export. But if you have used any kind of pro feature, pro element, you will be getting this kind of error message. You are using the following pro feature. But no need to worry, guys. I will show you that is still how you have to use it.
click on back to edit then you have to select all these clip here so from your keyboard you will have to press ctrl a key and once all the clips are being selected right click on any of the clip here and in the suggestion you will be getting create compound clip click on it and it will be immediately completed and one more time you have to make a right click on it and this time you have to choose pre-process compound clip and this may take some time depending what is the size of your clip on my end it's been done very quickly so once it's been done right click on your windows icon click on run and here in the run window you have to type app data click on ok you will be getting this kind of folder here click on local folder here then you have to look for CapCut. Once you get it, open it. In the CapCut, you have to look for User Data folder. Double click on it. Then look for Projects. Here it is. Double click on it. And inside the Project folder, you will be getting another two folder by the name com.lveditor.draft. Now there will be two similar folder here. You don't have to go with this one. That is a long folder text template.draft. You need to go and look for this one, com.lveditor.draft. Double click on it and you will find all the project name over here. And here in the list, you have to look for your own project. So if you come to the CapCut on the top, you can see here, my project name is 0109. This one, so I will open it. And inside it, you have to look for the resources folder. Make a double click on it. Then you have to look for the combination. And inside the combination, now finally you will be getting two videos here. One will be by the name video.mp4 and another will be video.mp4.alpha.mp4. So you don't have to go with this one that says .alpha.mp4, you have to go with this one. Now once you get this video, you need to drag this to your project. And then you need to drag this file to your timeline just above the previous video. Alright, so this was our video that was been before here. So what I will do, the new file that we added here, we will just select and drag and drop on the clip that is already been on the timeline. And it will say replace clip. So you need to click on replace clip. Alright, and now you're all done. So this time if I click on export, bingo. Now you won't be getting any error message, any pro error message to purchase. And this way you can easily enjoy the pro feature on the CapCut application. So here depending whichever resolution you want to go with, like you can go with a 2K, 4K, whatever you want to select, whatever frame rate you want to select, there won't be any kind of foundation. And if I click on export, so you can see the exporting is being started and very soon we will have the video here and it's been done. So let me open the folder and if I play the video, the so bingo. No problem, same video with all the transition, with all the test and all the effect. So that's all guys for today and hopefully now this way you can easily enjoy the CapCut Video Editor Pro for absolutely free without any watermark, without any kind of transition, network issues and without any kind of lag. And if you really found the video useful guys, please make sure you hit the like, subscribe before leaving the video and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.